Print on demand is a business model that is about selling your designs on whatever product that you want. Every single day, memes are created, news stories break, and trends emerge. Sometimes people struggle to find a niche to sell in and therefore they struggle to actually make sales. What if I told you that you could hijack these trends, hijack these memes, and hijack these viral stories to sell print on demand products? In this video today, I'm going to show you guys how you can spot those trends before they actually become a trend and sell a ton of print on demand merchandise on your Shopify store by using those trends as your niche. Also in this video, I'm going to show you guys a trend that I once sold in. I've seen some other people sell in it as well, and it has made a ton of sales. So if you stick around to the end of the video, you're going to be able to see that. We'll jump right into it right after this. All right, guys, this is Adam. He is a member of my Print On Demand Plus program. He recently crossed the six-figure mark on his store. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you some of the strategies that we use inside of that program, and hopefully you'll be able to use some of them to make some more sales. My name is Joe Robert. I am not a guru. I am just a regular guy who has figured out a way to make some sales on my Shopify store. As always on all of my videos, if you want to win a coaching call with me, just comment the word ninjas down in the comments below, and I'll pick a winner at random, and I'll I'll announce it on the next video. In today's video, like I said, we're going to be showing you guys an awesome niche research strategy that you can use to hijack viral trends, memes, and various other things that are going viral in the news cycle to sell print on demand products. This is a strategy that can help people that are struggling. It can help people that are just hitting a wall when it comes to selecting a niche. And this is because the very nature of this strategy means that you're picking things that are going to be current in your buyer's minds. Like I said earlier at the end of this video, I will be showing you guys a trend that I sold in before and made a ton of sales. So make sure you stick around for that if you want to see it. So one of the best ways that you guys could find trends like this is to simply just go on Twitter. On Twitter, you will see a ton of trending hashtags. These things are all indications that there are trends emerging. And if you find something that you could potentially sell a print on demand design with, you can make a ton of sales. Think through over the past year, right? Think through about all of the things that have happened in our American news cycle, right? If if you're living in the United States, you have definitely seen a ton of stuff go on. And a lot of this stuff, you could have sold a lot of print on demand items for, right? Like once one of these trends emerges, if there's a funny quote in the news cycle or something like that, put it on a t-shirt, put it on a hoodie, put it on a coffee mug or something like that. So like I said, check out Twitter, see if there's something on there that you could potentially hijack and sell a ton of merchandise in. You could also think through different TV shows or movies or, or something like that. This strategy works so well because not only are you selling within a niche, right? Like if you're selling something with a viral trend from politics, you're obviously in the political niche, but when you add something that's a current event or a current trend to your product, you're going to be able to sell more merchandise because it is going to be such a unique item. Here's an example of a trend that broke after the Super Bowl a few years ago. This is the score from the final score of the game. If you are not familiar with what actually happened, basically the Patriots were down 28 to three with eight minutes left in the fourth quarter, and they ended up coming back to win the game. After that happened, people were selling a ton of merchandise with the scoreboard on it. I have even sold some stuff myself. And as you can see, selling something like this to a Patriots fan is going to be much more attractive than simply just selling something that has something to do with Patriots without violating copyright. By putting the score on the shirt, you're playing on this viral trend that has just emerged because of the Super Bowl, but you're doing it in a way that obviously doesn't violate any copyrights because it's just a score. You don't have any team names or anything like that. And by doing this, you've shown them something that they simply simply must have because it has to do with something that they've just experienced. That is the whole point of this strategy. So like I said, I wanted to show you guys another example of this. This is a shirt that I sold. If you guys don't remember, a little while ago with the whole Colin Kaepernick thing in the NFL, there was a Nike ad. In this ad, they use the quote that I have on the screen right now. And a lot of people got offended, right? People felt like Kaepernick really didn't sacrifice anything, that he wasn't a hero and stuff like that. So what people were able to do, like, we were able to put this quote on a t-shirt and sell it to military veterans. As you can see on the back of my hoodie, I incorporated some more stuff. Here is another screenshot from another seller that was selling this shirt. And as you can see, they have a ton of reviews on their store. They were definitely crushing it with this trend. So definitely make sure to pay attention to trends, pay attention to memes, pay attention to anything that's happening in the news cycle that you could potentially sell something for, and you could potentially make a ton of sales. This is a strategy that, like I said, I teach it inside of my Print On Demand Plus program. And I wanted to talk a little bit about it with you today day. So hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did drop a like on it, comment, let me know what you want to see next.
next. My name is Joe Robert. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys later.